guys so for this tutorial i'm going to be using my size three millimeter hook and my yarn which is from a brand called bravo um i really don't know where i kept the paper so um to get started you're going to measure your waists and that's the measurement you're going to use so you're going to just take a measurement of your waist or your bust depending on which one you prefer but i'm going to use my waist measurement now you're going to be working in multiples of three so whatever foundation chain you make just know that you're making it in multiples of three So I did a total of 135 chains, which is a multiple of three. So what you want to do is you want to slip stitch into the beginning of the stitch to join the two ends together and just join it with a slip stitch. So for the first row, you're going to start by chaining one, going to the first stitch with one double crochet. Turn over and go into the next stitch and one pull through. You have three loops and one pull through two, you know, one pull through two. So you're just putting one double crochet in each stitch. Continue with this till you get to the end of the row. So just continue with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the end. I've come to the end of the first row. For the second row, you're going to start by chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now what you want to do is you want to skip two stitches. So one, two, and slip stitch into the third stitch. Now chain four. One, two, three, four. So it's only at the beginning of the row you're going to chain five. For the rest of the stitches, you're going to chain four. So I have four stitches. Skip two stitches and slip stitch into the third stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip two stitches, slip stitch into the third stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip two stitches, slip stitch into the third stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip two stitches, slip stitch into the third stitch. Three, four, skip two stitches, slip stitch into the third stitch, chain four, skip two stitches, slip stitch into the third stitch. So you're going to continue this till you get to the end of the row. Now I've come to the end of the first row and I'm just going to slip stitch into the chain five I did at the beginning of the row. For row two, or rather row three you're going to start by chaining five one two three four five in the first chain first space go in with a slip stitch now chain four so you're only going to chain five at the beginning of the row and then for the rest of the rows you're going to sorry you're going <laughs> you're only going to chain five at the beginning of the row and then for the rest of the stitches you're going to chain four so chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. So you're going to continue with this till you have the length you want, or till you have a length that is long enough to cover your bust. Okay, so now I did a total of twenty-five rows. 
Now what you want to do is you want to divide the top into two, so the front and the back panel. So you're just going to use a stitch marker to mark up both sides. So now I already did um, one panel and I'm going to show you how I did this panel. So just pretend that this is not here. I'm just going to hide it. So like I said, what you want to do is you want to use your stitch marker to mark off both sides to divide the front from the back. Now, since I already did the back, I'm going to show you how to do the front. So you want to start by attaching your yarn at this end where you have your stitch marker. Um, I don't have my stitch marker now because I already know where my front panel is going to be since the back panel is already done. So what you want to do is you want to start by chaining four. One, two, three, four, sorry, five. In the first um, chain four space, go in with one slip stitch. Chain four now. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. So you just continue with the pattern you did for the body of the top. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. So you're going to continue till you get to where you have your stitch marker. So like I said, I don't have my stitch marker here because I already know where I'll be stopping. So you just want to use a stitch marker to mark off where you want to stop. That's when you divide the front from the back panel. So, sorry, the front from the back. Now chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. I've come to this end. I'm just going to chain four. Sorry, five. So at the beginning of the row, you're going to chain five. So chain five and turn over. In the chain once, in the chain four space, sorry, go in with one slip stitch. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. So you're just going to continue walking back and forth till you have the length you want, which I'll let you know how many rows I do. But for now, you're just going back and forth with the chain four and the slip stitch. So just go back and forth from this end to this end till you have the length you want. So I'm just going to do this like get the exact length I did for the back panel and I'll let you know how many rows I do but for now like I said just go back and forth with the chain 4 and the slip stitch now I'm done with the front panel and I did a total of 10 rows of the mesh stitch going back and forth between these two ends so you can make it longer depending on the length um sorry the width of your arm so 10 rows is wide enough to go around my arms if I join it to the back panel. So what you want to do is the shoulder panel. So I'm just going to start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Going to the first stitch with the slip stitch, chain four. Going to the next space with a slip stitch. So I have one, two, three four five six seven eight nine so i have nine which is the same thing i did for the back panel so just to be sure 
I'm going to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight, no nine. So I have nine. Now you're going to stop here and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn over. Go into the first space with a slip stitch. Chain four. Go into the next space with a slip stitch. I've come to the end of the row, chain one. So I just did two rows. You can do um about three to four rows. It depends on the how long you want your neckline to be. But two rows is okay for me. So I'm just going to leave it at two rows. Okay, now you're at the end of the row. You want to chain one and turn over. Now in this chain, for space, go in with four single crochets. So one, two three four skip the slip stitch go into the next chain four space with four single crochets skip the next slip stitch go into the next chain four space with four single crochets skip the slip stitch go into the chain four space with four single crochets so one two three four so repeat till you get to the end of the row. So now I'm done with this row. What you want to do is you want to join the two panels together. So you're just going to place this together and going to turn this. So just join the two panels with a single crochet or slip stitch, whichever one you prefer. Sorry about the noise my hook is making. I don't know, it's kind of dry for some reason. So um, you just join in the two panels together with a single crochet. Okay, so now that I'm done joining the two panels together, you're going to work on the sleeves. So for the sleeves, instead of fastening off, I'm just going to continue. So you want to start by chaining five. In this first stitch, go in with one single crochet. Now chain four. Go into the space with one single crochet, chain four, go into the next space with one single crochet, sorry, with one slip stitch, chain four, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain four, slip stitch into the next space, chain four, slip stitch into the next space. So just continue with this till you get to the end of the row. So you're just repeating what you did for the body of the top. You're just alternating between chain 4 and a slip stitch. Slip stitch into the next space, chain 4, 
slip stitch into the next piece now I've come to the end of the row and I'm just going to slip stitch into this chain 5 I did at the beginning of the row for the next row start by chaining 5 1 2 3 4 5 slip stitch into the next space chain 4 1 2 3 4 slip stitch into the next chain 4 space so like I said you're just repeating what you did for the body of the top you're just alternating between chain 4 and a slip stitch to have the length you want for your sleeves I'll let you know how many rows I do but for now just keep on repeating the mesh stitch so chain 4 slip stitch into the next stitch chain 4 slip stitch into the next piece now I'm done with the top and this is what it looks like so for the sleeves I did a total of 12 rows of the mesh stitch so I just repeated what I did for the body of the top for the sleeves and I did a total of 12 rows you can make it longer or shorter depending on how long you want your sleeves to be